I think the best way to put it is that day I understood what strangers are truly capable of. The second day on his first job, serving a life lesson high schooler Aiden Shadswell will never forget because it was a day that almost ended his life. If this was like millimeters in either direction, I would have never seen my family again. Shatswell showing up for work at McDonald's near Southwest 89th and Penn last May. Oklahoma just two months into the pandemic and many restaurants closing their doors. He was there as Gloricio Woody was being told to leave the dining room area due to new safety protocols. She left the building only to return moments later with a gun. I turn my back on her and I just hear, oh my God, she has a gun. And I hear three shots from behind me. Surveillance footage capturing Woody firing off multiple rounds at a group of teens inside. Shotswell says he didn't know he had a bullet lodge in his neck until an hour later. I didn't feel anything. It must have been the adrenaline or something. There was like an entry wound like right here uh, where the fragment went in and it, it's still there. They never took it out because it was too dangerous to remove. And with the fragment still there in his neck, the now 17-year-old taking the stand recently against Woody, recalling that fateful day. From what I heard, she was off of her medication for like months. In court, Woody begging the judge for leniency, saying, quote, I think about the victims all the time, and I mean, I think about that day. If I would have just stayed home, I would not even be here, but I can't take it back. Woody's attorney says she has never had a traffic violation. However, a judge giving her a 15-year prison sentence for the crime. To say I wasn't a little sympathetic for her would be a lie. I was kind of sympathetic for her, but at the same time, she needs to she needs to be punished for what she did. I could have died that day, but I didn't, which makes me want to do something with my life even more.